What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the nation. Um, and today I have uh, another person with me from. I'm gonna do another interview from the one I did last time, but this person is a talented artist. Hello. Um, tell them about yourself. Uh, tell them about yourself. What's that again? You were breaking up. Tell them about yourself. Oh, well, my name is Paul Peoples, and I do like to draw. I usually uh, have a talent for doing some animations, but those were put on hold. But um, I'm just pretty much a freelancer, African-American, that just likes to draw for fun. Okay, okay. Um, anything about your history that you can tell us about? Well, on a, on the history of what, like my art or your art, what you do, what inspired you, how you got into the fandom. Well, I got into the fandom because one time when I was going through some depression, I was out there watching some some cartoons. But then my friend showed me a uh, a pretty much a show about ponies, and I thought I was not gonna like it. So until I looked at it, it looked a little interesting. So I watched a few couple of episodes, and from there, it put a smile on my face that most um, situations never had before. So then I went and checked into this show, and from pretty much from there, it kind of grew on me. So I went into this fandom at, shortly after. Um, and that is why you got into art. Yes. Um, another thing about that is that I got into art because um, I do want to draw something that inspired my imagination and put it on paper. I started basically when I was playing some games and watching some movies, and I had some ideas that could be brought to life to you know brought to life from my perspective. So I was thinking, like, what other way can I do that other than just doing it by paper or drawing the, the imagination? Um, what influenced you to make your uh, character? Well, and from a long time ago, I've been into gothic um, art as well as been into deeply into horror movies, and I love. Um, zombies and slasher movies so i'm pretty much into a whole lot of mainstream horror movies to some movies that haven't really been too well known but it kind of got me interested into it so i pretty much just combined all of the my interest into one pony and this is pretty much what he became right now so here's another thing um did your, does your character have a, a backstory or like some plot? And what was their original gender? Well, he's a male and he do have a small miniature uh, story, but I'm still fleshing out most of the works of uh, his actual backline story to as of how he came to be, where did he come from, as well as who he tied in with as he you know as a comeback um has any of your uh has anybody like told you or asked you anything about your character like saying it, they look feminine they have been getting a, quite a bit of people that talk about how my OC look a little bit more feminine than male kind of look and one, because I like to keep it more simple in the fact that he looks a little bit more pleading to the eyes. Um, in in my kind of eyes, he he looks a little bit more interesting as a female body than a male body. I didn't really like the snout too much on the on the male stallion, so I pretty much gave him a female muzzle, and it worked from there. Ah. 
and um, uh, skimming through questions is would you have ever changed anything about your OC back then? The only thing I changed back then is that he has a different cutie mark now that leading towards the story that I'm just trying to um, improvise and upgrade to give it a more fleshed out story. So I gave him a better cutie mark. I'm out there changing his personalities a little bit more in the future. Okay, okay. And um, uh, would you say that most of your career has been you building up your own uh, fan base or did you have help? It's pretty much just me and pretty much me only. It's just me working by myself and I've just been inspired by other artists that just I just looking around and just check them out and I just saw some ideas that I kind of use for myself as well. Um, have you uh, considered that your character has become around so famous that they might have stories about them? What kind of stories do you mean? Uh, Plop. Well, if he act if they actually use him in any kind of cop stories or stuff like that, then yeah, they can go ahead. I mean, it's their imagination and if they want to use my character, then sure, they can. Okay, okay. And um, oh, um, have you met anybody uh, famous in the fan? What's that again? Have you met anybody famous in the fandom? Oh, I've been meeting. I met a lot of artists that are famous to count, but the only name of few I pretty much found out: Dat T, um, Chino, Nuni. A lot of artists that inspired me and they kept me going. Okay, okay, and um. Would you say that your OC is featured anywhere in the fandom? Yeah, my uh, OC have been featured in some people project, and I'm very grateful for that too. That my OC is pretty well known for them to have some kind of spot for him in their storyline. Okay, okay. Um. Is uh is there anything else you want to add or say? Mm, not really. I mean, the only thing I have is that when y'all trying to create your OC, try to make it as simple as you can. Because a lot of people love simple OC because it's not way too over the top. That's just my opinion. So now I have uh, two... Um... Dirty questions. Uh, have you ever rule 64 your character? Uh, yes, I have uh, made my uh, OC a female a few times, yes. And for what reason? Was it a commission, a request, or your just personal uh, free time? It's just personal free time, just for fun. Uh, have you done any commissions uh, with your character being rule 64? Or rule thirty four. Quite a bit of them. I have some commission that want me to draw some new art of their OCs doing some stuff. And yeah, they, they pay really good money for it, so I went and draw it out. Uh would you say that you have ever taken any requests? I used to take requests long ago when I first started streaming, but it kinda got into a little bit a, a bit of a hassle after it got a little overwhelming after some time. So I stopped doing requests. And how did that make people feel? During the, request, uh, during the request or after the request? After you ended them. Uh, when I did do some of the requests, they felt more happy that they have an artist that can draw them pictures and stuff like that. But yeah, after I stopped doing requests, it did turn some heads down, but 
they will have to live with it because it was causing me a lot of stress mm. back in the time. Would you say that uh, it's as stressful as trying to maintain a YouTube channel for your fans? Well, if I had a bigger YouTube channel, then yeah, it probably would have been the same kind of way. I mean, you had to keep up the content, keep up with people with courses and stuff like that. And, you know, you have to please these people despite of your own personal interests. Okay, okay. And would you also, um, um, uh, let, let's go on to this. Um, would you say that you would provide spoilers at all about your characters? What's that again? Would you say spoilers about your characters at all? Um,. Hold on, you said something about my character. What's that again? Spoilers. Hello? Uh-oh, I can't hear you. Oh, you said spoilers about my character. Yes. Uh, if there were spoilers, I would not be able to tell them now until after they are putting into the comic. First off. Okay, okay. And uh, if you had the chance, would you ever make a game about your character? Sure, most definitely. If I have the talent to do it, then yeah. Have you ever uh, made a story? If I I do have some help with the storyline, then yeah, I will actually have somebody to help me collab with that. Okay, okay. Um, now, when you first started, did you ever think that you were gonna do Roll Thirty Four stuff? Um. No, because when I first started, I thought it was just going to be me drawing a whole lot of safer work art, like birds, animals, to grass and trees and scenery. But it went from a few trees to ponies and other stuff. And do you have anything else in the works that you're planning on posting? Nothing at the moment, but I am working on something about my OC and his storyline a little bit more. Okay, okay. And, um, let's see what to, else to ask you. Uh, hmm. Um, is there anywhere that, uh, the people who watch this can find you? They can find me on... Discord, they can find me on Tumblr, as well as Derpy Broom and DeviantArt. And Rule 34. For Rule 34, uh, it's Tumblr and uh, Derpy Brew. Those are the only two sites that I usually post that stuff. Okay, so um, uh, you'll make sure to leave them in the chat after we get done, right? All right. Okay, um, another thing I actually want to ask you, uh, are you female or male? My OC? No, you. I'm a male. Your voice sounds very feminine. Well, I mean, my voice is feminine, but I'm pretty much male. It's just that when I was at, uh, when I was born... My, I guess my throat or my voice box haven't really matured enough yet or so, but it is pretty much how it is for over 28 years. Okay, would you ever consider voice acting or singing? I mean, if they want me to voice act for them, then sure. I can. And singing? Mm. 
What about singing? I can't sing. <laughs> hmm. Okay, okay. Well, um, I'm all out of questions. Anything else you want to say? Nah, that's pretty much it. Okay, well, um, we will, uh, hold on a sec, I'm checking something. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording and check something. Uh, I'll see all of you later, and remember, join the nation, create a nation. Bye-bye.